Will this stock sell off? And of course, this is all going off the rhetoric out of the White House. Resume on Thursday when the markets reopen. Let's bring in Scott Shelley, Managing Director of TJM Europe, and Michael Lee, all TM Wealth Portfolio Manager and Market Strategist. Both of you working uh, today, we should point out, uh, with the markets closed. Guys, thank you for being here. Scott, are we... Are we overblowing the concern about uh, the bond market? You saw the 10-year below 3% yesterday at close. The inversion, and we're not going to get too into the yield curve today, but the, the inversion no. between the 2 and the 5 actually is what really seemed to spook a lot of folks. And then the long bond, the 30-year, that was another big story. All of that added to the sell-off yesterday, Scott. Are we, are we overreacting here, do you think? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, we're looking for the monster under the bed here, and there, I don't think there is one. Look, we've had calls for 80 to $100 barrel in oil, uh, dollars in, uh, uh, barrels for oil. We've seen it as high as 400 Sometimes people just get the trade wrong, right? So they got long oil. They got long bonds because, the, the, you know, the, or the, they were expecting the yields to get up uh, in the bonds. So... I say this. Sometimes you just can get it wrong, and we've seen the reaction to get out of those trades. That's why they see the yield go down and bonds have rallied, and that's why you've seen oil go towards 50 bucks. And that's made people nervous. And at the same time, we've got the yields in Europe that are depressed. They're still pumping cash in the system. There's still quantitative easing going around, around mm -hmm. us, and that's also causing that farther dated stuff to be depressed a little bit. And that's what also can lead to that yield curve inversion. And I don't want to get too much in the weeds here, yeah. but we haven't seen quantitative easing like this. So a lot of folks will try to tell you that a yield curve inversion is yeah. going to tell us we're going to have a recession, but it could also tell exactly. us we still got QE going on in the world. So mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm not too worried. Michael, what do you say? Look, I, I think Scott makes some good points in that the, uh, the longer, longer end of the yield curve is manipulated by the fact that the Fed owns trillions of dollars of bonds. Okay, when you see an inversion in the front of the yield curve between the twos and the fives, all it's saying is short-term growth over the next two to three years is expected to be better than years four and years five. This happened in the 50s and 60s, and I, and I tend to think uh, what happened yesterday is that uh, the market is thinking that the economy is going to start to slow down dramatically right. in 2019, 2020. I just don't buy it. I, I think they're over-discounting. Uh, the slowdown, and while 2019 might not be as good a GDP year as 18, it still should be pretty good, yeah. and we have no idea what 2020 the is going to look like. The story is tariffs, guys, and I want to read you a, a tweet from the president. This is part of the rhetoric that came out of the White House that really kind of affected investors yesterday. Trump says, I'm a tariff man. When people or countries come in to raid the great wealth of our nation, I want them to pay. Basically, you know, Scott, the president is, is sounds, he's getting tough on China, and it seems like we don't really have a deal. What do you say, Scott? Uh He's talking tough till he gets a deal, right? What is he going to say? Is he going to come out soft right now? I fully expected this to be the case. And, yes, a truce was a little bit something we didn't think about. We thought it was going to be all or nothing, a binary event. Well, we got right. this trade truce. I think it will be a deal in the end. And I think that you've seen the rhetoric around it saying that they both want to get something done. But he has to stick to his guns until he gets what he wants, right? right. He's not well, going to take his foot off the gas until that happens. Well, but, I totally but understand it may, this. But it, may hurt, but it may hurt the U.S. economy, Michael. Last word. Yeah, look, we're talking about uh, $75 billion worth of tariffs on a $22 trillion economy. I, I don't think it'll hurt the economy that much. It's, it's obviously better if we don't have them, and I hope they come to an agreement. I like the bullishness. I know both of you are going to be working on your portfolios today. Scott, Michael, great to have you guys. Thank you so much. All